Hello everybody, Eric here. I just want to give you guys a kind of set of tutorials on how to edit videos. Ba this one's going to be a relatively basic video on how to edit with Sony Vegas Pro, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, ask me any questions and all that good stuff. Let's get into it right now. So um, if you're on this video, you're probably looking for questions and answers as to how to edit your gameplay and how to get rid of black bars and all that good stuff. Um, I will mostly refer to my videos um, as Mario Kart videos and how to edit Mario Kart videos for the most part, but it should apply to other gameplay as well. Um, so just drag and drop whatever videos you have for gameplay. Drag and drop them into Sony Vegas and, um, well, you see them there. Um, completely unedited and all that stuff. Now, uh, in your preview screen, when you have it set to best full, or even really best half, honestly. Um, let me try to find a good still. Here it is. Um, best quarter, maybe? Yeah, even in best quarter, you can tell that there's a certain blur here that you don't really want. Um, it's best visible in, like, best full, but there's a, definitely a blur here that you don't want for your, um, for your gameplay. So in order to get rid of this, um, this is really visible with HD, um, H HD game capture cards. I'm not exactly sure if it's, if it's the same with Dazzles and Easy Caps, but what you want to do, regardless, is right-click on your uh, on your video clip, rather. Sorry, right-click on your video clip, hit Properties, and check the uh, Disable Resample box. What this does is com it is it completely gets rid of your blur, um, and I mean that's always good. Now, with that looking pretty solid, you probably notice the black bars on the edges of your screen. Now, if you're, if you're recording your gameplay with like HDMI and your PS3 or Xbox, you probably don't have too many black bars, but for Dazzles, for the Wii, um, there are sure to be black bars. So what you're going to want to do is, um, in order to get rid of the black bars, you're going to want to do this thing that's called panning and cropping. Um, now, in order to be able to do that first, you have to right-click on the video again, hit Properties, and uncheck the Maintain Aspect Ratio button. When you're done with that, uh, go ahead and right-click on the video again and hit Video Event Pan Slash Crop. Now what you see here is a kind of window into where the borders of your video are. Normally the on the left side of the, on the sidebar, these are going to be selected. And you don't really want that because basically that keeps the aspect ratio and you're not able to actually customize where you want your border. So what you want to do is unselect these options and you can then actually select where you want your borders to be for your video. By doing this, you get rid of your, you get rid of your black bars and all that stuff, so um, you don't have that annoying kind of image in your videos, which is always good to have, or rather not have. And when you have your kind of, uh, when you have your black bars eliminated, you probably want to save the preset, save the template, just in case you have the same kind of, if you have more clips from the same or if you just have more clips in general, what am I saying? Um, you want to simply be able to uh, go here and just so simply select a template that you've already made. So you don't have to do this dragging and dropping stuff again. So if you, if you have the template ready here, go ahead and type in the preset box, whatever you want the save file to be. Hit save preset and it should be in this drop down menu. Um, so with this being done, this is my we preset template although I'm pretty sure because this gameplay was probably recorded with the Wii U I'm pretty sure this is the Wii U uh, this is the template for my actual Wii but whatever it's not exactly perfect but it does a job um, so now that you have your black bars removed you're getting up there in the quality scales of things um, next thing to do is actually increase or not really increase to add video effects to increase your quality now you're gonna do this through um, video right by right clicking on your video and hitting video event F uh, event really video event FX now the two main ones that are used are uh, Sony color character as well as Sony sharpen some people use brightness and contrast some others use color curves but brightness or rather color corrector and sharpen are the most widely used for obvious reasons because they're really easy and simple to deal with uh, so go ahead and double click color corrector and sharpen although if you want to fool around with them don't mind me just go for it um, for color corrector uh, you just simply go down and adjust the saturation value to a value that you find you know reasonable 
I normally adjust my saturation value to 1.4 or 1.5. Um, others make them lower or even higher. Um, it's all up to your preference, so, you know, go crazy. Now for sharpen, these values will differ for what kind of capture card you have. I know for Dazzles or uh, any other standard standard definition uh, game capture, you know, I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, you want your sharpen to be less, so you want it maybe 0.3 or 0.4. Uh, with HD game capture cards, you can make it up to heavy, the heavy preset here, or around 0.8 or something like that. So with this being done, you see your video at pretty much max the max quality you're gonna get and uh, well these are the basics for editing your video um, at the start now obviously you're gonna want to probably split up your gameplay in some way shape or form so in order to split up your gameplay you just really need to remember one thing s split um, the key for splitting um, for splitting up clips is simply by tapping the s key whenever you have this little bar at the point in time where you want to split your clip up so when you have that um, when you have the line where you want to split your clip up just simply hit s and it will these it will split up the clip um, at the point you designated it to sl to split blah. now um, you just go through your gameplay splitting up what you need you can pretty much tell where you want to split it in the case of Mario Kart you can tell where you want to split your videos simply by the audio waves um, because in the main races and all that stuff the, the volume obviously is going to increase um, whereas the course selection screen or for any other games like the lobby screens or whatever the music's going to be quieter so you can just simply go to where it decreases in volume and you can tell from that where your actual gameplay is so go ahead and split up your clips. I'm just going to do one for examples and stuff and shits and giggles. Um, that should be good enough. Alrighty, so I have two races out of my four races that are recorded in a Grand Prix of Mario Kart. So with this being said, um, this is pretty much it for basic gameplay and basic editing. Um, now for rendering settings, if you want to you know, render all this, you just go to File... Oh, and by the way, make sure you select everything that you have uh, in your timeline. Whatever you want to actually render, just select it by dragging and dropping the points at which you want to start and begin. Or start and end, rather. Um, drag and drop those points of starting and ending on this little bar right here. And then go to File, Render As. And now here's where it's going to differ a bit. So you, you put the name of your video that you want here. And... Uh, well, there are a couple of different formats you use. You can try main concept ABC slash AAC, which is an MP4 file, and you can use the default Internet HD 720p format, the Internet 480p widescreen format, all that good stuff. You can use that. You can use those templates because those are pretty solid. What I actually use is the WMV format because I like the way it turns out. Um, what I use is the 8 megabytes per second HD 1080p 30p video, but for this kind of format where we selected 720p, you can go ahead and select 6 megabytes per second HD 720 30p video. If you want to look into what the actual settings are, you can hit Customize Template and see that, well, these are the audio settings, these are the video settings, the bitrate, all the good stuff. Now, I would suggest if you have the best computer possible to just simply go with the 8 megabytes per second. But if you are, you know, limited with your power of the processor of your computer, then I would suggest this template or something around that. Or whatever really, like, is the equivalent to 720p on the internet, I would suggest going for that. Um, so you just simply hit render for whenever you have your template selected, and you're good to go. That is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial. If you guys need any help or anything, just leave a comment or something about it. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, just leave a like, you know, that help. See you guys later on whatever, whatever video I really put out there. And uh, peace out.